I know, I know, I know, it's an old Andrea TV box, so why am I reviewing it, you may ask? Well, I went ahead and I bought a tech lucky bag from Gearbest.com a few weeks ago, and basically this is what I received, the Shinshin V88 Mars. So now I opened that lucky bag, I feel obligated to review it. So yeah, let's go ahead and see what this basic TV box has to offer. guys and welcome back to my channel as mentioned i got this smart tv box being the v88 mars one in a gearbest tech lucky bag that video is available to watch right now in the top right hand corner if you've already watched that video well let's just move on and see what we get Okay, so first of all, this TV box is equipped with a Rockchip 3229, an AMA Cortex A7 quad core CPU, an Amali 400 GPU, core speed 1.5 GHz, and a system bit of 32 bits. It is running Android. It has 1 GB RAM, 8 GB ROM, and that can be expandable up to 32 GB via the TF card slot to the right hand side. There's also a small pin reset hole just here, two USB 2.0 inserts, so no. No USB 3.0s. To the rear, there's the usual HDMI 2.0, an AV port, an Ethernet port, and a 5 volt DC power insert. To the bottom, there's plenty of ventilation, with help from the 3mm distance, thanks to these four sturdy rubber feet. Now, the power cable supply, well, it's EU, so yes, an adapter will be needed. There's also a very short HDMI cable, a simple but clear instruction setup guide, a usual slimline remote we see on most common Android TV boxes, with a dedicated web, app, media, and mouse button options. It does take two AAA batteries, however, I'd highly recommend using a keyboard and mouse, like this combo option just here, or maybe a touchpad mini keyboard, perhaps. I will leave a handy link in the video description down below where you can purchase them from, as it just gives, well, a better all-round experience. Let's go ahead and hook it up, and I'll first add that this box is super light. It's mainly made of plastic, matte black in colour with exception to the gloss black finish to the front and sides. Powering it on, after 30 seconds or so, you are greeted with a simple launcher menu, which again, you'll see on most budget TV boxes. Going into the settings, and after a short update, you can see we are now running Android 7.1.2. With the memory, we have just under 5GB left, of the 8GB ROM. And nope, this TV box doesn't have Bluetooth built in. The remote really isn't too bad, buttons are a bit clunky but feel great, it has a signal angle of around 90 degrees, and even though it has a mouse button option, I would definitely skip that, and use a keyboard or mouse option that I mentioned before. On this Mars 88 TV box, we got apps like Play Store, YouTube, Netflix, Kodi, Facebook, Google and Skype. You can easily download plenty more, but going through the apps included, Kodi is present but unfortunately not fully set up with the add-ons. Playing HD content is fine, some 4K videos are clear, but you have to keep in mind with 4K playback, it's just about okay with lower frame rate files. Anything above 50 to 60 frames per second, well this TV box will struggle, but definitely 720 HD should play smooth. And as you can see YouTube, it plays fine with the maximum resolution reaching 720p. Again, keep in mind how cheap and low spec this TV box is, it certainly doesn't have the most powerful processor. In conclusion, for the price of £23, that's 30 in US dollars, is it really worth it? Well, I think it's just okay for a basic smart TV box. This V88 Mars is definitely not the fastest, but with most video formats, it does an okay job. So first things first is I was going to test it with the Geek Benchmark app but it's just basically a waste of time. I've tried reviewing some of the 4K video. Oh look, now it goes to 1% after about 20 minutes. So is it worth even testing how fast this TV box is? Eh, uh, no. It tries to attempt to play a file on 4K video. Yeah, it plays smooth when it's installed actually on the memory card. But if you're watching any video via streaming, the HD is not full HD, it's 720p. You hardly get any streaming at 10, uh, 1080p. <laughs> this TV box isn't gonna be doing anything. Gaming, forget about it. Again, no Bluetooth, so forget about hooking up a Bluetooth controller. Most TV boxes that I've tested, Asphalt Airborne 8 does run, but it doesn't even load. <laughs> 
<laughs> so my result of this TV box today is out of 10. I've got to give it actually three out of 10. That's it. It's basically play Netflix and YouTube. What? What? Me? And a bit of internet searching. But if you really want a good TV box, then I would actually go for one of the other ones on my YouTube playlist, which I'll leave just in the top hand corner, just here. So this is a truthful review of this V88 Mars Android TV box. Anyway guys, I'll see you guys over on my next video, coming real soon, and well, thanks for watching. Peace! <laughs> Check those scores out. <laughs>